Damas y caballeros, finalmente tengo junto a mí esta banda llamada Place Placebo, en inglés, Placebo. En bueno, español. y a mí, ¿no? Y también a José sí, Ramón, por supuesto. Sí, sí. Mi primera pregunta es para Brian, el vocalista. You know, many times we have wondered, is he a guy, is he a girl? Now I have you here in front of me. He's a man. I think that kind of probably says more about you than it says about me. <laughs> yeah, actually it does say a lot about him. But why choose that look? Why the androgynous thing? It's just how I feel comfortable. Right. Like, well, this is a really you, 80s. This is like the feel, crappiest If jumper. you feel comfortable in that oh, no. jumper, then this, get your fucking wh nose out of my I, What is it? You know where I got this? I what got the this fuck are you drinking? This is um, lemon tea with honey and brandy because I'm losing my voice, right. see, because of the altitude. You want to hear the truth about this sweater? It was given to Did me by mother, my drug dealer. Your mother, your no, drug my drug dealer, dealer really. <laughs> okay. He owed me money. This is a true story. So este, he gave me this crappy jumper, and I'm sorry I was called. I okay. didn't mean to offend well, you. When my drug dealers clothes. owe me money, they usually pay me in drugs, not clothes. Right. You know? Well, that takes me to another question that I wanted to ask you. Who writes, who writes the, word, the letters, the lyrics? <laughs> me, sir. <laughs> uh, are you stoned right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Uh, no, I'm coming off actually. I'm coming down. I'm coming. Yeah. Oh wow. Actually, pot. Why? Why is? Is there so many references? Are there so many references to to drugs in your uh, lyrics? Because it's part of everyday life and it's part of everyday youth culture. And if you want to write about the spirit of the age, then you can't stick your head in the sand like an ostrich and pretend that it's not there because it's there and it affects all of us. And um, it's an, it's a part of everyday living. So. Either you want to be Britney Spears and write about stuff that's got nothing to do with the year 2001 and, and youth and just life in general, or you kind of, you know, you tell the truth, which is what we do. I think most bands wouldn't be as straightforward about such a subject as you are being right now, because most people right now are going like, no, no, we're all clean and, you know, kids shouldn't have drugs and wherever. So They're all lying. They have yeah. I know they are. I know they are, but they like to your face. When we do interviews, they lie to my face and they sit they, there going, no, it's terrible. They don't have as much cojones. We do, Right. Basically. I have lots of cajones at home. Yeah, good. No, no. Ah, cojones. Bueno, es que eso, you cannot joke. say that on Mexican television. <laughs> so, why... <laughs> cojones. Este compa habla un poco de español, me tiene asombrado. ¿Qué tal te gusta México? Uh, sí. Y es sueco, ¿no? Es sueco, o nada más uh -huh. te haces el sueco. Sí, sueco. Sí. Sueco, okay. ok. ¿Alguna vez te has acostado con una mexicana? <laughs> ¿Mexicana? Mexicano. Ah, ah. ah. O sea, tú estás en la misma onda que el de acá. Uh, didn't understand that one. No, oh, so uh, have you ever had sex with a Mexican? Let's not specify <laughs> the, the gender. Yeah, because uh, it doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl, just Mexican. Yeah, just a Mexican. You ever screwed uh, a Mexican? No, I haven't actually. You haven't tried a Mexican flavor? <laughs> I like your beer. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Something good about the one. What about you? Do you still do you also carry this um, confusing uh, approach? No. Or are you straightforward gay? Um, I'm not. I'm not gay. I'm up up front, straight, and um, my mannerism is yeah. I I say what I think. You well, twat. I, I think that applies in general to the whole band.